Hello, my name is Brandon Shope, Solutions Engineer here at Wallarm. I wanted to take a few minutes uh, to walk you through the API discovery module in our solution. Uh, so if I navigate here in the dashboard to the API discovery section, we'll see um, the output of what our filtering nodes are discovering uh, and recording in real time from the actual traffic flowing through those nodes. So it's important to note that uh, we don't require the upload of a schema or existing schema to build this structure. Um, the filtering nodes uh, rebuild the structure of your APIs on the fly from the actual traffic flowing through our filtering nodes. So if we see here, we can quickly filter uh, via the different host names that we see in the traffic. We can swap between external APIs and internal APIs. We're recording the method uh, in the request and the path, uh, any um, variations are folded uh, into the associated parameters. Um, if we click on one of the endpoints, we can see a complete digest of everything we've collected about that endpoint. So we see the method, the path, uh, which host it's associated with, uh, application assignment, as well as a risk assessment score. And this risk, risk assessment score is built um, from things like, is it potentially vulnerable to Ebola style attack? Um, how much and what type of sensi sensitive data is it brokering? Um, and how complex and how deep are the parameters? All of these things increase the likelihood that um, an API could be a target or possibly compromised. Um, we see, we display the sensitive data or PII information we see associated with that endpoint and then all of the parameters that we see. Now we're also tracking changes over time in those parameters. Here we can see these parameters have shown up uh, as new since, um, since we've been watching or monitoring this uh, API endpoint, as well as some parameters have also uh, been removed from what we see in the traffic. We're also showing the number of hits or attacks on a given endpoint. Um, we can quickly create a rule if necessary on this endpoint. And if we click that, all of the uh, request and uh, specifics of this uh, API call are pre-populated. And then we can choose an action to attach to that rule. Um, we can also uh, click on the attacks and get transported to the event view for that particular endpoint and those attacks that have been recorded. If we expand that, we can see all of the details of each one of those attacks. All these data points can be used as um, filters. So we can filter by method, API host, application assignment, um, what type of sensitive data. So if we just wanted to see APIs that are brokering uh, financial type PII, we can quickly select those. And, and now we're only viewing those endpoints. Uh, as well as filtering by the risk assessment score um, and uh, any changes or specific types of changes in the API structure in addition to changing the uh, time frame that we're looking for uh, or that we're viewing for changes over time. Lastly, um, any filter that's been applied, uh, we can also download that as an open API spec file, and we can bring that into any third-party tooling that you wish to use, such as a comparison to a known source of truth. In addition to the data that's collected here, uh, we do have the automatic BOLA protection that we've added. Um, so this uh, feature scans your endpoints, and if they're subject to a BOLA style attack, um, we will automatically attach our BOLA protection uh, to that endpoint. And so this can be configured here in this other section, BOLA protection. 
And within here, we can change um, the threshold of when we take an action with that protection and then what um, reaction we want to take. Do we want to deny further access of the offending IP or do we only want to log or otherwise register the attacks? So that's the API discovery module um, here at Wallarm. Thank you for your time.